Well, hello. Okay, um, this is probably the first video I'm going to make about the Acorn trailer project. The Acorn is a, is like is a scamp. It's another name for a scamp, and it's an American-made bowler. So it's very much like the bowler that I did in the last winter. Uh, it's November. I've had the trailer since uh, June. <laughs> When I went uh, a long drive to go and, and fetch it, uh, again it, it wasn't very roadworthy. Um, but we're going to change all of that. Uh, and also, um, we've pulled the frame out from underneath it, which is the first thing that I did with that bowler as well. Because these frames, you just can't forget about them. You gotta fix them. So uh, especially adding some extra metal to it and whatnot. Um, this frame, uh, compared to the, the other frame, this one here is good. This is in really good shape. Um, there was only the, the very slightest sag on that notorious left hand side. For some reason, it may be because of the length of the, the piece of uh, frame and the fact that it's not a very big piece of metal but uh, it was only sagged down just an eighth of an inch. Um, it was something that we could fix with a, with a chain and a, and a, and a ram. So um, we did fix that. It's nice and true now. Um, my, I've removed uh, the axle from behind here and also the little, the little wall where the uh, floor goes and it steps up right here. So the little wall is gone. I like to, they, they made it out of uh, just sheet metal like you see over on the other side there. Um, I like to make it out of uh, angle iron. So it's gonna be a little bit stronger, especially because uh, you know, you're gonna step on that all the time there. The other thing that I'm gonna be doing is adding another frame member here at the back. It'll be underneath the body, but it'll be at the back of the trailer and then a couple more pieces across to join the top of this wall. So there's gonna be a lot of support on this floor, no sagging, you know, no bouncing, stuff like that. That's very important. The rest of the floor is well supported, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, the door opening here, uh, these pieces were also uh, sheet metal. I have removed them. I've welded another brace on here because <laughs> that was pretty, once I cut things away, it was pretty weak. So um, I'm going to be building another, uh, it's, it's the step where you walk into the trailer here. It needs to come out six inches, and so I'll, I'll rebuild that. This uh, part of the frame here uh, is, um, seems to be something they did every once in a while. It's very sturdy, I love it. Um, it actually added extra strength to the frame, and uh, it's, it's either for a porta potty you can put in there, or you can use it for uh, to make a table at the front of the trailer. I think I like the table idea at the front of the trailer. That way you can leave the bed made up. <laughs> so a lot of these trailers, you know, it's not a family in there because they're so small, um, or it may be uh, two adults and one child or whatever. So there's no bunk bed. I'm not going to do the bunk bed thing. Uh, bunk bed's kind of useless. So we'll make it nice that way. Um, I did remove the uh, pieces that were across here because I'm rearranging things. I want the propane tank here and the battery there. Uh, there's a new coupler on the front here um, to replace the inch and seven eighths one. This is a two inch, it's proper, it's heavy. Uh, also, that allows me to put this uh, conventional trailer jack on here instead of the folding one. Uh, you can put a wheel or a leg under it. It's nice and high, the handle's nice, uh, my battery case can go underneath here and the propane tank can sit behind it. Um, everything has a space. That'll be really nice. Anyways, um, by the way, there's, there's the axle on the floor. I thought I would have to replace it. I was prepared to replace it. Um, turns out it's fine. The only thing I'm going to do with that axle is I took the hubs off it, as you can see. I'm going to replace the hubs with, uh, in, they were four bolt ones, very small. Um, I'm going to replace them with uh, five bolt on four and a half inch conventional um, spacing so that I can, just about any wheel will work. It just so happens that 
There's the two original tires down on the bottom of the pile. These are off of the other boulder that I did uh, because I replaced the wheels completely with the white spoke. So I saw it all. I kept these. I'm glad I kept them. I'm going to put new rubber on them and I've got uh, moon hubcaps coming for this. So I'll still need to get a spare tire, but that's okay. And the other thing we're planning on doing, and uh, you will see it in the photos, uh, is um, I'll be putting a receiver hitch on the back of the trailer here. Now, um, this is a much sturdier bumper than what I had on the bowler. And with the frame behind it here, um, I'm going to put a receiver on there. And the receiver is no, it's not for a trailer hitch. It'll be to plug in a spare tire on the back. It'll be a lot stronger. It won't fatigue the uh, bumper. And also you could unplug the spare tire and put a bicycle carrier on there. So it's kind of a neat idea. Anyways, um, that's the first video. Uh, we'll carry on. Uh, outside is the body on a cradle. Um, and that's another whole thing.